But okie dokie, let's head back out to the regular dungeon. Just quickly breeze on past our own mistakes here. And hopefully can take on the regular dungeon here. I do occasionally like to pivot to try and one of the S branches at the very least pretty early on, but don't think it's looking like too great of an opportunity for us here. So let's instead head up to the regular dungeon, 7% chance to paralyze you. Not great. Do I think I can fight you now? We're at least looking better than we once were. Poison isn't going to do a whole lot to help us out. I kind of want to keep some Wanda Flame charges for shoals, but let's blast you a little bit. No, of course, does absolutely nothing. Can I mind blast you? I can. Not very effective either. Fight you the old fashioned way, I guess. Also, not great. Not at all working out to our benefit there. Uh, goodbye, friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry for bothering you. I did not mean it. Also, hey, there's that two-headed ogre that we left behind. I don't really want to fight you either. Jeez. So we're definitely getting the Abyss Rune, right? I mean, how can we not? It seems more likely to show up for us. Oh, I am definitely on the same page as you there. How could we not? How could we truly be faithful if we didn't uh, grab the source of Luganu's power? It'd be rude not to. Crap, your eye dart did not work there, and in fact, we mulched it on top of things. Not fantastic. So let's instead take all of our new friends into a slightly more open location. Let's bend space. Oh, hello. Make some new friends while we're at it. That's not exactly what I expected. Dang it, Ice Beast, you're kind of killing my vibe here. Yeah. Two headed ogres now healed up way more than I otherwise might have liked. In that case, bend space once more. Dart, dart. Keep bending space. Perfect. It's working out all right here. Still very scared of our ogre friend, especially if we get blinked right next to them. Which, of course, not a concern. Never get unlucky like that. Oh, got myself in a bit of a corner. It's not fantastic. And maybe that's enough poison? Fantastic. There we go. Finally managed to take out that two-headed ogre. Jeez Louise. Oh, thanks, Colgate, for double checking that so banishment gave partial xp before 0.26 and that's when it changed to get full that's great to know but yeah more than happy to uh to try and take advantage of that um and i guess probably still head back down this way right and instead of running into our friendly skeleton pal this time around let's just snatch this potion and let's head downstairs shall we the roar of battle oh my gosh we've been getting all the uh the specialty maps today look at that all the time portals are showing up on this run i wouldn't mind a bailey they've definitely been slightly sketchy in the past you never know how things are going to work out but still gladly take the shot can we banish the skelly we could i don't think it was quite the odds that i uh might otherwise have desired but was still available also right we lost our one pip of fire resistance so even a steam dragon is going to be a bit of a, a pain in the rear here let's instead head to this stairs maybe oh hey it's right there. Hello. Well, that's sweet. Didn't have to search around too hard. I'm probably ready to go in this time, though. Let's plan ahead just a little bit. Drop some stuff. Is it the first thing that we want to achieve here? Anything that we don't think we'll need inside? Potion of Mutation probably shouldn't be necessary. Guess we could read it right away if we wanted. Let's just drop for now. 
Lig, I do want to keep. Berserk, I potentially want to bring in. Immolation, we can probably drop for now. Charming, we'll keep. Positive energy is not likely to help us out in there. So we can do that. Ring of Fire is in a similar boat, but it's nice to have at least one hot swap option for resistances. Especially with our innate cold resistance, it allows us to swap between RF and RC at a whim here, so that's always solid. What else? I mean, we have Degeneration somewhere in here, but no idea which one it is. Could drop some of our wands. But three spaces should be enough. Then the final decision we have to make is, do I finally put on this Guardian Spirit? The main issue is that I want these to be available. And all of them do cost magic to cast. So you don't want to find yourself in a situation where you're regretting hitting zero MP. I mean, maybe it saved our life, though, by taking it out of our magic points instead of our health. It's a, a tough call to make for sure. Let's put it on just in case we're bombarded by our bliss the moment we step foot in here. And take a peek. Okay, nice. Not the immediate destruction one. That Those are a lot of pull arms, friends. <laughs> but mainly regular orcs? Okay, never mind. Not a worry whatsoever. Just quickly blast our way through all these buddies. There are some tridents in here that, honestly, with the lack of tridents in general, I'm tempted to steal one. Would be a waste, most likely, of a, uh, a branding scroll and enchantment scrolls to bring a vanilla trident all the way up to something usable in the later game. It's still tempting here. Okay, we don't have to fight too many at once as long as we get them jammed up in this lovely little doorway. And this is an interesting Bailey. I don't actually know if I've seen this before, but it's kind of escalating fights in each room, getting harder and harder as we progress. I wonder if that continues, because the moment I said that there seemed to be a pattern, it broke the pattern and gave me a huge door instead. At least open you? That's, that's a lot of haste, friend. Huh, and five lumpy ruby potions? If those are heal wounds, then I'm very happy. Well then. Wild. I don't know if I want to take on what's past this, but if this is what we found here, imagine how good it is. I think get a warlord at the end, that makes sense. Warlord with a few knights to back them up. So let us step through. Let everyone walk up just a little bit. In fact, I guess we can probably make our way back to our favorite doorway. And then now, as soon as we have a certain collection of individuals here, I want to condense your vein. I kind of wanted you to walk up, Orc Knight. Are you okay? Maybe, maybe not. Let's condense your vein, all you folk. Mephitic clouds, okay, that's pretty awesome. There might still be something worse waiting in the wings, I guess. Could have been a, a warlord that just didn't quite get drawn in, but everyone shouted. We were real loud, friend. Oh, is there still one chamber past this, maybe? Uh, don't I feel stupid now? Game has made me look the fool once more. But that's fine. Let's just uh, blast you. Once more, let's blast you. I think these buddies are fairly armored, so Tim and, uh, Tin of Tremor Stones is not going to do a whole lot of work for us. Are we immune to clouds? Not in general, no. We do have poison resistance and decent cloud resistance, so don't have to worry too much in a lot of regards, but unfortunately not quite uh, immune to clouds by any stretch. Oh geez. Always rough when these fights are close because it's that much more tempting to just stick it out. Just try for a little bit longer. How could it possibly go wrong? Maybe poison will kill you? Or you can give us another gap. That works for me too. 67% chance to hit. Let's just blast you. Oh, that doesn't even do it. Lightning rod? Holy crap, also doesn't do it. How much health do you have left, sir? 
Here we go. So I'm guessing that's still not the be all end all. A single target we're not quite as worried about. Especially at nights because they don't have the uh, the duplicative effect. Which essentially I just mean when you have two knights next to each other, they both might the other and get a lot harder to fight. But one on one knights, I wouldn't say no problem, but very few problems. I'm not too too worried. Is there a warlord waiting for us still? Maybe just maybe. Let's just keep drawing you in one at a time. This is actually working out quite wonderfully, all things considered. Two orc knights buffing each other is a beautiful story about the power of friendship. That's definitely how I feel about it when I'm on their side of things. As the one and only messiah leading my followers through this brutal dungeon that we live in. I can definitely uh, respect that side of things a little bit more. But I absolutely love that, that framing, to say the least. But okay, summoning scrolls and acquirement is awesome. Um, I need two inventory slots though. Oh shucks, I didn't drop enough stuff. Yeah, Railbird, I wouldn't be surprised if it has the opportunity for the Warlord though, because this last room seemed lackluster relative to the one before. Like it was, I guess, four Orc Knights. I was surprised. I was expecting a Warlord for sure. Most of the Baileys in general have a Warlord somewhere throughout. But let's see, what can I throw here? I think condenser vein where did we leave the other one behind yeah in the um what should it we call it in the gauntlet so we unfortunately can't drop that i don't believe we found more lightning rods or tin of tremor stones so those aren't options either one of charming won't work very often against these stronger monsters that we're running into these days so maybe we can go that route what else what else we could enchant some armor but i have nothing really incredible right now that i'm happy to stick with to any uh, end throughout the final part of the game so don't really want to read all my enchant armor scrolls what else can we drop some boomerangs i guess might regret it in the future but for the time being, we're not using them too much, so let's do so. We can even read Acquirement right away, I guess, and see if it's anything that won't take up a slot. Plus nine, Bardish of Distraction. Spectral, resist corrosion, extra magic points, extra strength, lose intelligence. Hmm. And yeah, Poison Darts is up there for Shurgrim as well. I was debating it. That's a tough one because we have been using it a little bit still, but definitely getting to the threshold of where they fall off a whole lot. And in fact, boomerangs become so much more useful at a certain stage, to say the least. That's an interesting Bardiche. I don't think I'll take it. It's two-handed. We're a bit of a I'm a bit of a shield boy myself. But it's fun. I do love getting an artifact available. Otherwise we have the ring of Yugamity. Our electricity we don't really need, but willpower is probably something that uh, we'll desperately wish for in just a little bit here. We're pretty much coming to the stage in the game in which it'll start becoming necessary to have some source of uh, protecting ourselves, protecting our mind as it were. So that's most likely my choice. The plus two helmet of intelligence almost attracts me because if we do want to get spell casting, it does help out for the future. but. And even, yeah, I can see in chat now everyone shouting out about the ring. I do agree with you there. Overall, I think it's our, our best bet. Now, are we getting throwing great poison? I think so. Yeah, that is the plan at the very least to get into throwing. I think I might be spreading myself a little bit thin. I'm going for a little bit of spell casting, a little bit of throwing, a little bit of fighting. But it's a nice fun little hybrid thing we also haven't gone all of our mutation slots filled out so we'll have to maybe play into those a little bit but for the most part i think throwing is very much going to be worth it in the future here tons of things it's okay to dip that's the spirit and is the ring randart i do believe so i've never seen this uh 
the ring before here. In fact, in terms of rings, there's the ring of the Octopus King. There's a, a Arch Magi ring is there. I think so. Might be mixing it up with something else though, but anywho. I think I'm happy to leave nine boomerangs. Shouldn't be the BL end all. We'll get a bunch of boomerangs in shoals anyway. We could qualify it to be a single potion stack. That's saying, that's saying something. That's a decent thought here. If we take a look at what's available, most of these I wouldn't mind too much. If it's the only one we have, especially if it's a useless one, at least useless for us right now. Magic, brilliance, attraction. Yeah, the eight rings of the Octopus King, exactly. But I think there are just two or three unrand art rings, right? Maybe even just the two that some kind of art magi one, which again might just be in my imagination and nowhere else. And definitely the octopus ring. Oh, and there's the ring of shadows. There we go. That's another unrand art uh, ring. Anyway, not at all actually important. Just uh, random thoughts here. Let's drop our enchant armor and enchant weapon for now. We don't need to lug those around at all times. We'll switch over some potential swaps. This ring here, I also potentially do want to wear right away. It's actually most likely better than the ring that we currently have on. Gain some of our intelligence back, still get the same amount of dex, get the willpower instead of resistance to negative energy, which this early on, negative energy isn't too, too common. Oh, I thought that you went invisible and I got very confused because I knew that we had a see invisible helmet or something, I swear. But that makes sense, just a uh, hide around the corner. Still working on my object permanence, the thing. Okay, do you know, if we're gonna keep running into steam dragons, I will switch over to my ring of fire just to cause that steam to do essentially no damage. Perfect. Oh, sorry, yep, yeah, won't stand in the fire in the flame, as it were. And ooh, what are you wielding, friend? Plus three spear of flaming? Tempting. Very tempting. Especially considering the fact that we'll be most likely heading into Snake soon, in which our uh, Spear of Venom will no longer be quite as effective. Did we get Lugano from Faded Altar? No, we actually started as Abyssal Knight on this run. Had a, a suggestion in chat, so I couldn't help but take them up on it and try our best to get through with a, an Abyssal Knight. Especially since um, it's a combo that or background that I haven't gone too too much experience with myself which makes it more attractive to me because I think that it's a lot of fun to try out new things to experiment a little and maybe just maybe find a, a favorite option for the future in general <clears throat> geez <laughs> can't talk whatsoever I don't think I've been taking enough sips of my drink throat's getting very dry but Regardless, I was just going to mention that I think that I've been enjoying Lugano a whole lot. I like any mechanics that kind of put the game on its head and change the uh, the method in which you interact with the majority of the features. And I do feel that following Lugano fits the bill in that uh, regard. What the heck is going on here? Another gargoyle. The last one didn't go very well against us don't really want to banish you once more oh there we go perfect safe and trying to keep me alive here make sure that i can actually speak after the stream today i appreciate it you can tell that i've been fairly absorbed into the run because i haven't even thought about the fact that you're talking a lot drinking is important when you're talking a lot okay stab 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 Please. There we go. Perfect. Do you manage to, to chunk through that bad boy in time? Prowls this wand. Still occasionally useful, even at these stages, I guess. I was so tempted to just put it in the trash in terms of mental compartment uh, compartments. We're also getting decently skilled in evocation, so that definitely plays a role in it as well. What are you? Seen visible? No, thank you. Not necessary, friend. I'm good, I'm full already. And two-headed ogre. 
completely within our purview to dispatch of. Wonderful. Whole bunch of shadows on this floor. I'm very much glad that we got the sea invisible helmet before coming down this way. Otherwise, might have been a real pain in the rear. Let's investigate. I believed that the lumpy ruby potions were heal wounds. So let's check it out. Brilliance. Okay. A little disappointing. I would have loved to have five heal wounds, but hey, if we do branch into spell casting like we plan to, it might be wonderful. What about you, Norgel? Or Nurgel, sorry. Hmm. We do have a decent number of sources of resistance to negative energy. So we can probably fight you the old fashioned way. If we wanted to banish you, 60% chance. It seems like there's no other number in existence. It's either 1% shot or 60. No in betweens, no F ends or buts. But. If we want to fight you the old-fashioned way, we'd be swapping rings. Oh, I dropped the other artifact that gave us resistance to negative energy. Fantastic. Brilliant work on my end. Also summon spectral orcs, which will be a pain here, especially if I need to step into this dispersal trap and completely ruin my day. Let's stab you a few times if we can get the poison stacked up should be fine and in fact super straightforward is banished based on willpower or hit dice see that's something that i'm not actually sure about should potentially check i don't think it says in here it does not but the other thing we can do real quick is on my second monitor i do have the wiki up from looking up demon spawn mutations so let's do just a quick check of Luganu here. And that way we're not going to be uh, want wondering the entire time how it works. Do -do -do. Banish Unique. It actually does not say, even on the wiki, it says the power of the beam scales to your invocation skill. But that is interesting. Hopefully we find some targets. I mean, I, I don't have the best internalization of the, the hit dice of each and every mob. I have some because I think I saw a post a long while back on the Reddit that actually grouped everything by hit dice. Gave me a bit of a peek into which targets are truly horrifying to try and polymorph because they might turn into something far scarier if you do. But yeah, if anybody in chat knows, definitely let yourself be heard, because I'm very curious whether it's willpower hit dice. It seems to be fairly consistent with willpower from what we've seen so far. Especially since it doesn't work on things that are too abyssal or demonic. Which would indicate uh, willpower, because that is the, uh, the trait that they have. Infinite willpower for those sons of guns. You thought it was will with respect to player resistant banishment from wizards and other monsters? Not sure how it works for the same. Definitely right for that side of things. Yeah, the player side. But uh, I do believe that it would be willpower based on my uh, logical conclusions after walking through it mentally here. It makes sense to me that um, th beings with infinite will being able to resist it implicitly would kind of imply that um, it's a willpower check. But again, if anyone knows better, pull me out because I will always pretend to know a lot more than I actually do. Quite an idiot. Just secretly so. Or not so secretly, maybe. But okay, translucent hunting sling? Not likely that we switch over to it, especially this late in the game. And in fact, after seeing what it does, not on my list anytime soon. But ooh, resistance to poison and good intelligence on a ring. I could definitely use both those things. What will I swap for it? Wand of Flame could go for now. I guess Mutation Potion we could throw down. There are some occasions where you need one on hand as a quick quaff, but for the most part, it shouldn't be too much of a stretch. Alternatively, potions of attractions have only ever gone closer to killing me rather than actually helping me out, so that might be a more prudent choice for dropping. 
Let's do the mutation, and I do want this ring. Oh, there, how are the mutations going so far? Worldwide, the mutations are going all right. Nothing too incredible. I'm not a huge fan of the, the sharp spines, and we don't have any really cool interactions, which, I mean, I was secretly hoping for, but we did get our scale advances really early on, giving us some nice resistances, so I can't complain too, too much. We'll see where we end up closer to uh, the end of the game here. Because we still have our level, like our top tier mutation to come, so who's to say will that be? Hopefully something absolutely stellar and fantastic, wouldn't that be nice? Okay, we can definitely take out the first undead, but I do not want to fight I was gonna say, I don't want to fight the ugly thing with a pole iron poking us along the way. And then I, of course, took the wrong turn. Silly me. You always got to pay attention to where you're driving, folks. We went down this dead end instead of up towards the stairs like was intended in the first place. So that's a big whoopsie. I probably do want to switch over to the ring of fire. And it burns, burns, burns. Resist some damage from this ugly thing. Also, ouch. And see how much that hurts immediately. Not great. Not great. Both of you hit me. I might just be dead. Ain't that just the thing. So. Instead of continuing to walk. I mean, we could tunnel. Hope that we don't die in one turn. Run back through the tunnel. Gain back to the stairs. Still gonna be rough. Why am I so hasty? Maybe one of the strength potions could help. Definitely if we want to try and fight. Unfortunately, right now, I think we're more so in the, uh, the on the back foot here. So most likely, just going to run away. I want to check a couple things. Chances of paralyzing, 50%. So if we can get a little bit of distance, could be okay there. Alternatively, we back up into the corner. Sir, why didn't you step towards me? You were supposed to also be here. I was gonna look like such a, a big brain here. Come on, sir, please. Um, that's fine, I guess I could instead still make it work. Hit you twice, you walk up. But ideally, this is the situation I was going for because we do have this random blink. So I think if I bend space now, we're at least only getting hit by one of them. Ideally, we're somewhere back here, we just walk away. No stress off our back, beautiful. That was actually completely calculated. I wanted to, you know, showcase Lugano's skills, so I purposefully did the stupidest moves I could have possibly come up with, uh, you know, for the benefit of the audience, no other reason or anything like that. Oh, one of these days, my stupid mistakes are gonna get us killed, but not today. I believe, and as long as I believe hard enough, we can manifest it into existence. That's how that's how it works, right? Especially since this is a game that, as we were talking about earlier, does have a lot of almost deterministic uh, probabilities to it. Doesn't change a thing. Also, thanks so much, Worldwide, for the, the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to our, our lovely little group of watchers here. Okie dokie. I don't like getting hit by pole arms, so let's retreat a wee bit here. Try and take this son of a gun out. Unfortunately, not going quite as effectively as I otherwise might have liked. Let's bring you to me. That way we can fight mano a mano. Hand to hand, I believe. For the longest time, especially growing up, I thought that mano a mano meant man to man. I think largely because it was a, uh, it was a quote. From a movie that I enjoyed, specifically linked up in that order. Blew my mind, or threw me for a loop, I guess is a more realistic phrasing. Threw me for a loop when I discovered the truth, the horrifying truth of it all. I had been lied to. <laughs> this move is worth the following. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Managing to kind of avoid all of our, our skeletal friends so far. 
much to their chagrin here. Oh gosh. Hello? Oh, you have a Falchion of Distortion, do you? That's almost tempting to swap over for personal use. We do want a Distortion brand if just to, uh, you know, play into our strengths here. Make sure that we're repping Luganu, the one and only Big L in the sky. But, Falchion? I don't know about that. Don't think we need to go that far, you know? Especially considering the fact that I was uh, complimenting the idea of a pole arm with distortion just the other day. So it would be nice to potentially try that out in person and see if we can't uh, see how great it truly is. I mean, I would love to get Rift itself, the, uh, the Unrand Art distortion brand thingamabob, but I'm not going to be too greedy. I'm happy with whatever we can get here. And if we can separate the Necromancer from their friends, definitely works out for us in the long run. Can heal between fights here and Josephine? Where'd you go, friend? I know we took your friends away, but you're really just going to ditch them? You're not even going to wait to see if they're okay? That seems rude. Did we pick up a trident? We didn't pick up a regular trident. We do a quick check. Let's see if we missed any. There is at least a regular one on the floor somewhere in the dungeon. But no, unfortunately, we're still waiting with bated breath. Hoping against hope that one of these days we'll find ourselves a good trident. We also, on that last level up, finally got another one of our mutation slots filled. And we get the Demonic Ancestor. I didn't want to jinx it. But the silly thing about that is I feel that my last, like, 10 demon spawns that I've played have all gotten this mutation. And it's not my favorite. It's definitely not my favorite. It it can be good. It's definitely saved my life uh, quite a few times amongst those runs. But it's wild to me that I just keep getting it every single time. I mean, on this character, it's almost extra fitting in a lot of ways because it is very much keeping in line with the abyssal nature as well as the demon spawn nature which i guess is implicit because it's a demon spawn mutation ignore that last part again just anytime i look silly just uh, ignore it and anytime i look smart totally intentional completely reasonable i think right but we'll see how demonic ancestry works i cheese louise scared the crap out of myself there <laughs> Oh, my own stupidity too. Forgot how early we are. Find slimes this early. Should not be rushing into it. 66 damage. Oof. Not good. But it worked out. And we got a wonderful spawn from turn of events. And we can just run away. Walk away for now. Take a deep breath. <laughs> oh, geez, Louise. Because P86 means we get what you've always wanted. That's true. We just have to get preferably a, uh, a nice demon trident before then. Should also switch over to our poison spear against this son of a gun. Get the heck out of here, friend. This is why nobody likes you, Boulder Beetle. Beautiful. And spitting, or splitting up the slimes definitely works to our advantage. I will gladly take them up on that. Demonic Ancestry bitter hit or miss it did kind of save our lives already so how much can we really complain about it in that regard but still hoping to see sign in the future three brand weapon scrolls what the heck is even that okay so maybe we'll end up with two branded weapons we can have a distortion one that's you know for the the Luganu fans in the audience and then also, something else, vampiric, what have you, who the heck even knows, whatever floats our boat at the moment, I guess. Okay, there's Sonya, and there is a Tengu warrior, I'm guessing, because no spells. Tengu warrior, not a fan of. And also, I should have acknowledged, yeah, worldwide is still better than level one antennas. Oh, you're not wrong. I'm glad in general that we didn't get the a head slot here because if we didn't allow ourselves to wear this wonderful helmet moving forward, 
where would we be now? How disastrous would life have been? Okay, Sonia. I don't really want to banish Sonia because I want the curari darts. It's almost to the point now where it doesn't matter so much. So many things that we've come across are resistant to poison or the like. Old viewers are probably some spins. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't think you're wrong about that. Much in the... It's very much in line with some sensibilities to want an entertaining show, right? You want interesting things happening. Sonia? Hello? Where... Sonia? Oh, there you are. Silly you. Um, hmm. Poison, darts, not very good odds of hitting, but Ice Blast is where we start to make our money here. Can ideally just hit you twice, and you're very much dead. Fantastic. Even the warrior, actually going better than I thought. Having two evasive enemies like that in a quick succession, I was ready to just miss all of our shots the entire time and be in a living nightmare, but no dice. No such luck, but I guess in a good way, so maybe that's not the best idiom to use for the situation here. You mean Twitch chat is basically a temple to some? <laughs> You're not wrong. Also, wait a sec, I'm still wearing this ring of fire? What am I doing with my life, folks? Who's letting me walk around making horrible decisions for myself? run back though and heal up before we take on the centaur warrior now yeah if twitch chat is all representative of zom i don't mind too much i mean we did have managed to get some good zom wins in the past against all odds in fact our only tournament win was a zom follower which was absolutely wild also, please stop this. Oh no, that's very unfortunate. I mean, fortunately, both of you are slightly weaker enemies, but I cannot afford to be <laughs> petrified and tugged. Get me out of here, champ. Okay, jeez Louise. You're too scared of combined slimes, you always split them before fighting. Yeah, I definitely... I push a little too much too often, I think. I'm constantly looking at them being like, Oh, can I survive a max damage hit? Because if I can survive... Yeah, what if I just hit them for max damage myself each time? And then we win. It's that easy. Like, it's a no-brainer. Who wouldn't? And that's when everything hits the fan and I almost get killed. Okie dokie. It's just... Head to a new stairwell. Oh, right. I kind of forgot I left you behind on this floor, friend. Hello. Goodbye. Yeah, I am constantly uh, forgetting about some of our, our God-given abilities here. Bend is something that I should probably reach into our, our bag of tricks slightly more often to take advantage of. Okay, so I took a step into combat there, trying to get adjacent with both the centaur warriors. Didn't realize there'd be even more enemies just uh, awaiting us here. We could, no sign desperate, we could bend space. It's a little bit sketchy with range targets because they will just blast us the moment that we uh, blink away from them. In fact, if these three all blast us with their best uh, abilities, it's not looking great. So, I think instead, let's use Ice Blast, a blast of our own here. Try and smash you. Pyromancer should be dead. That's nice. I appreciate that. And I think I'm actually targeting the wrong centaur. This one has a quarter staff and is closer to death, so I wanted them down. But if we need to run away from the slimes, this buddy's going to just be shooting us the whole time. And it's going to be a bad time due to that. Should potentially take off Resist Corrosion for more AC. And now I want out of here. <laughs> Which, 
for all you kiddos watching at home. This is not when you start pulling out your consumables and playing carefully. That's like five minutes ago. This is when I go into sheer panic mode because I'm an idiot who let it fall and degrade to this mode or to this level. So do as I say, not as I do, of course. But okie dokie. Don't really want to banish small targets like this, but if I banish the slime creature, get you out of my face. I'm probably actually okay fighting both these centaurs. Less okay than I thought. Um, let's just drink some hearing. And that's enough. Beautiful. Never, never a doubt. Not even concerned. But okay, we're slowly working our way through. Any floor that has this kind of layout is going to be a nightmare. Because there are always some out-of-depth monsters guarding all the, the little trinkets and treasures but hey haste not too bad manual of stealth completely useless and staff of earth not great either but still good fun all in all three enchant armors and some ice dragon scales very early on ice scales on ice scales put some ice scales on our ice scales so we can and such and so forth <laughs> be interesting but probably not our best bet here. Let's check out the weapons though. The plus 13 scythe of curses. Holy crap, we get an unran dart pull arm on a run that we're actually training it. What do you actually do? This is one of those things that I've seen a couple times in different runs, but I've never actually picked up and definitely have never used. Scythe surrounded by an ominous aura of dread. Carries a terrible and ancient curse, which it busily inflicts on both the wielder and their enemies. Interesting. So necromantic curses, I think of mummy death curses. Which is interesting. I definitely don't want to be hit by those necessarily. But if I... Wait, I think it's a top tier demon spawn mutation to get the torment resistance, right? It's the, uh, the like, hurl hellfire mutation. Maybe, just maybe. Wouldn't that be swell? Regardless, it's a ways off in terms of money, as well as the uh, the skill requirement to wield it effectively, so we won't worry about it immediately here. Instead, we'll just we'll tuck that one into our back pocket as a, a potential future, at the very least. While you're damage reflecting, I'm just gonna walk away and just let poison finish the job. Fantastic, vampiric battle axe. Such a shame that that's not exactly what we're going for here. Nice weapon for Lugana's aesthetics. Yeah, really uh, fold ourselves into the uh, the demonic side of things. I mean, for Lugana and for ourselves. Really can't go wrong in terms of uh, thematic profiling. So maybe just maybe we'll have to give it a shot, right? I mean, ideally, we can afford to uh, buy it even if we don't use it. I'll we'll have another incredible weapon at our disposal that we can swap between. Especially since after getting to a low enough level of health, I'm sure we'll no longer want to be uh, wielding a cursed object anymore. Could be a lot of fun. We'll have to see what the future holds. Hopefully we got the, uh, the cash moving forward. Hello, my ugly friends. Goodbye. Definitely just hold down auto fight throughout the entirety of that encounter. Not too many problems there. Have to be a little bit more careful against the centaurs. Our own uh, pull arm reach kind of biting ourselves in the butt there because I uh, don't want that one gap space, of course. Taking arrows to the face. Not a great look. As for you, Pyromancer pal. Let us swap over to the Ring of Fire once more. It's at least one pip of resistance there, even though it doesn't matter too much. They were already essentially dead, but it is what it is. It basically turns you into a money, mummy, but sites aren't great. Yeah, they don't have very good uh, accuracy, right? And, I mean, the skill requirement in general, getting up to level 26 in pole arms for min delay is a bit of a nightmare. 
especially since if we compare it to the min attack delay on something like the sphere, it's quite a bit slower, even at perfect training. But how can you say no when it's so uh, thematic, when it's so cool? Some might be strong enough to refuse, but I don't know if I am. The rule of cool holds too much sway, holds too much power.